This is it guys, the iOS 10.2 jailbreak has finally been released for all devices. And in this video, as promised, I'm gonna walk you through why you should do it, how to do it, and everything else you need to know in between. But first, I wanted to thank Luca Tedesco. He did what I personally thought was impossible. Apple has thousands of people encrypting iOS, making it stronger, and to find a way in to jailbreak your device and give us some freedom back, that's really, really noble of him to do and to do for absolute free for everyone. So I wanna say thank you, Luca Tedesco, uh, for making this possible. What you guys are looking at is possibly one of the last iOS jailbreaks in a very, very long time. So should you do it? Absolutely. I mean, you can remove it at any time. This makes your device even more rare and its value will even go up. But beyond that, you guys will be able to do so many cool things that previously you couldn't, a dark mode, uh, tweak any little area of iOS that you don't like, change it to your liking. There's just so much you guys can do and really there's no reason not to. Jailbreaking has become more stable, more safe nowadays and uh, you can always go back to a stock device if anything. But if you guys need more convincing, I will have a link down below uh, why you should jailbreak iOS 10. There are many good reasons for it. But anyways, this is a very simple process. It takes like two to three minutes. The only downside is that this jailbreak needs to be rerun every seven days. But it's such an easy process, you don't have much to worry about, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, but this application right here will basically not work after seven days and you will need to reinstall it on your computer. Other than that, this is semi-untethered jailbreak. What that means is if your battery dies or you need to reboot it, when you turn it back on, all of your jailbreak tweaks will be off. Basically, it'll be unjailbroken until you run this Yalu jailbreak once again. Now, I personally prefer semi-untethered because you can walk into an Apple store and have your device be unjailbroken and uh, you can get a replacement there. But uh, yeah, you can turn it on and off at will. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you. The only requirement is that you guys are on either 10.1, 10.1.1 version number, or 10.2. So if we jump into the about, I am on 10.2. The good news is at the time of me making this video, you guys can still update or downgrade back to 10.2 if you're not there already. So this jailbreak supports the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6S, and even the iPhone 7. But the iPhone 7 only works on 10.1, or 10.1.1. So if you're not there, then unfortunately you cannot jailbreak at this time. All other devices are supported on 10.2, including the iPads and the iPod Touch. So let's jump in. All right, so down below, I will link you guys to three websites. First one, ipsw.me. This is where you guys can see if iOS 10.2 is still being signed, if you can update or downgrade to it. So for me, I have a 6S in case I wanted to downgrade to 10.2 from 10.2.1 or 10.3. Basically jump in here and you will see 10.2 is still being signed. If this is red, then you cannot get to that firmware anymore. Now, if you have an iPhone 7 on 10.2.1 or 10.3, I would downgrade to 10.2. That is Luca Tedesco's actual recommendation. So it might receive a jailbreak in the future on that firmware. So if you do end up downloading that, go ahead and plug your device in. And this is for the people that aren't on 10.2 that wanna get there. I mean, just a quick little overview of how to do that. Basically jump into iTunes. Let's go into your device settings, hold option on a Mac and left click update, shift on Windows and left click update, and uh, go ahead and select the firmware 10.2. Now, whether or not you're updating or downgrading, same process, uh, you can update to it and keep most of your data intact. It will begin to go ahead and downgrade or update. But I'm not going to do that because I am already on 10.2. So once again, verify you are on 10.2. And now visit two websites in the description. So cityaimpactor.com. Basically download your version. Uh, and uh, we're going to be using this tool to install the jailbreak. And Yalu. Uh, look at the Desco's website, go ahead and download the IPA file right here. This is beta seven currently. He said that this is just about the stable, most final version. So this is why I waited this long to make this video. I wanted to make sure you guys were getting the best outcome possible with this jailbreak. And uh, we're gonna run Cydia Impactor. All right, so with that plugged in, let's go ahead and take the beta seven IPA and drag it into Cydia Impactor. Now go ahead and log in with your iTunes Apple ID. You don't have anything to worry about here. This information isn't being shared with anyone. All right, so with your information in, go ahead and click enter and it will begin jailbreaking your device. So in a moment here, we should see uh, Kim Jong-un on our device and that's Yalu 102, so we're 10.2. 
All right, so go ahead and click on it. Well, this is what you'll get. So let's jump into settings, uh, general. We basically need to trust the profile, profiles and device management, and go ahead and trust this one up here or this one down here, trust. All right, we are good to go. So go ahead and open up this. And in here, just go ahead and click go. So essentially, every time you turn your device off or the battery dies, you'll need to jump into this app and click go once again, and it will just restart your device and get the jailbreak working. Now, it may take a couple tries in some cases, just leave it and your device should reboot on its own. That's completely normal part of the jailbreak. And in a second here, we should reboot with Cydia on our device. And uh, every time you redo this, it'll get Cydia working again, because every time you reboot, Cydia will crash until you do this, just to, to make you guys aware. And for the people wondering if this does void warranty, indeed it does, until you can disable the jailbreak. So uh, if you ever need your warranty back, you can turn off the jailbreak and go into the store, just hide it like in a folder or something. Uh, I've heard that works for some people. Anyways, so you should see Cydia. If you don't, repeat the process as many times as it takes, but it should work on the first or second try. And jumping into Cydia, you guys are now fully jailbroken. Mobile Substrate has been enabled on this version, so all of your tweaks will begin working immediately. I actually have a couple of videos on those already. I'll be releasing more. And um, yeah, you guys are jailbroken. It was that simple. The only thing you guys need to know is that this uh, little icon or this app will stop working after seven days, unless you're a developer, it will work indefinitely. But every seven days when it stops working, you guys will need to repeat this process. Not a big deal, but does take like two to three minutes. So just to make you guys aware of that. Otherwise, you guys are done. This is the jailbreak running on your device. And uh, hold on to it, guys. I'm serious. This may be the last jailbreak for a very long time. So enjoy it. Go install some tweaks. Enjoy this, guys. You've been waiting so long. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to get to some of them. But overall, there it is. It's a pretty stable jailbreak, better than 10.1.1. Uh, if you guys are on the iPhone 7, again, 10.1.1 and 10.1 is the only one that can be jailbroken right now or anything 10 to 10.1.1. 10.2, nothing yet for the iPhone 7, but stay on it. I mean, who knows? Luca might pull through.